Well, hello, my friends. How are you all doing? I'm doing very well. It is May 1st of 2020. This uh, video is about Pantera. I'm going to rank their albums. Okay, so for those of you who are not too familiar with Pantera, they are a heavy metal band and they are frequently referred to as a groove metal band as well. They are from Texas. They formed in 1981 and split up in 2003. Pantera actually started off as being more of a glam metal band. They actually released four albums as a more of a glam metal type of band. They changed their sound pretty significantly in the late 1980s. I'm only going to include their major label albums on this rankings list. So they have five albums as a major label band. Okay, so I'm going to rank these from my least favorite to my most favorite. Let's get right into it. So coming at number five, it's the Great Southern Trend Kill. This came out in 1996. You know, this is a good album. I just never really got into it all that much. Some of the songs in here I'm not overly fond of. I do enjoy some of the songs like uh, Drag the Waters, 13 Steps to Nowhere, Floods. There are some good tunes on here. They definitely went to more of a different direction with this album. I would say it's a little bit more experimental maybe. It's a good album but it's definitely, it, it would definitely have to be my least favorite Pantera album. So coming at number five would be The Great Southern Trend Kill. Okay, so coming at number four, is uh, Reinventing the Steel. This came out in 2000. This is their last full-length album. Again, pretty good album. I definitely enjoy some of the songs in here. Like uh, Yesterday Yesterday Don't Mean Shit, Revolution Is My Name, We'll Grind That Axe For A Long Time. So there are some good tunes on here. Pretty good album, but uh, I'm not overly crazy about it. But uh, I definitely enjoy it still. So coming at number four is Reinventing the Steel. Coming in at number three is Cowboys from Hell, released in 1990. Very good album. Lots of great tunes on here. Like the title track, Cowboys from Hell, Psycho Holiday, Heresy, Cemetery Gates, Domination. Pretty good album. Actually a very good album. There's maybe a few songs that I don't particularly like, but overall a very strong album. Very good stuff. So coming at number three, Cowboys from Hell. Coming in at number two is Vulgar Display of Power, released in 1992. Very, very good album. I would say all the songs on this album are pretty good. Mouth for War, A New Level, This Love, Regular People. I would say all the songs in here are very strong. This is a very, very good album. All right, so coming at number two is Vulgar Display of Power. And my favorite Pantera album is this one right here. This is uh, Far Beyond Driven, released in 1994. This is just a phenomenal album. Very, very good stuff. Lots of great tunes on here like Becoming, Five Minutes Alone, I'm Broken, Slaughtered, 25 Years. This is a very, very strong album. I definitely like the production a lot in here. The songwriting is very strong. Lots of great riffs, great vocals. I love the drum sound. It's a very, very good album. Definitely my favorite Pantera album. This is the one I definitely listen to the most. All right, I still listen to this album pretty regularly still. All right, so coming at number one is Far Beyond Driven. Fantastic album. All right, so that is my Pantera rankings. All right, I definitely enjoy Pantera quite a bit. I got into them when I was pretty young, back when I was in my early to mid teens, and I still appreciate their music. They're definitely a phenomenal heavy metal band. All right, so thank you very much for watching. And I wanna say thanks to all the people who subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. I really, truly appreciate it, okay? Cheers, my friends.